Greetings, everybody. This is the Doctor. Welcome back to Star Trek Online. This is April 2nd, 2015, and the new Delta recruits are online in Star Trek Online. What are the Delta recruits? Basically, if you create a new character between April 2nd, 2015 and May 21st, 2015, your character becomes a Delta recruit. These Delta recruits are awarded special rewards for doing missions. They have some new, unique, very unique content only for Delta recruits. This is done as you level up through the game in your Delta recruit. And these unlocks or special rewards are also account rewards that you can use on non-Delta recruit characters. Also, there will be weekly specials or weekly things that you can do on your Delta recruit character that will even help other characters that are not Delta recruits. And there is a completely separate and new storyline dealing with time travel that will be unique to Delta recruit characters and only Delta recruit characters will see that content and see that storyline unfold. The April 2nd to May 21st timeline is just the timeline to create the new Delta Recruit character. It is noted that if you do not finish your leveling up your Delta Recruit character by May 21st, that's okay. All of those features will still be available to the Delta Recruit character and you can still enjoy all the content after May 21st. It will not end as far as getting the new content. All that will end on May 21st is basically starting the new Delta Recruit character. This is from the Q&A right on the webpage. It says, what happens if I create a Delta Recruit but do not complete all of the listed tasks? And it says, once Delta Recruit completes their special tutorial and receives their Tesseract communications device, they will be free to complete the assigned tasks at any point in the future. Although Delta Recruit characters can only be created while the event is running, there is no time limit on the completion of the tasks or their associated rewards. That means the April 2nd to May 21st time date is simply there as a window to create the Delta Recruit character, but after May 21st expires, you will still be able to log on to your Delta Recruit character and continue leveling that character and continue enjoying all the special unique content available to that Delta Recruit character. So now that we got that out of the way, that was a big question I had is what would happen after May 21st. Now we know that you do just continue leveling your character and enjoying it after May 21st. Basically, they are giving you a month here, a little over a month, no, about a month, to create a new character. Every, every new character you create within this month will be a Delta Recruit character, um, flat out period, no choices there. That's what it will be. Okay, so this video that I am making today on the launch of the Delta Recruits is just an introduction to the Delta Recruit character. I am not going to record right now an entire playthrough of a Delta Recruit character. I've got some other playthroughs in mind that I want to do, including a free-to-play playthrough of this game once Season 10 comes out. But in the meantime, because this whole unique Delta Recruit thing, I at least wanted to create a new character for you guys, show you the introduction, show you the tutorial, because apparently the tutorial is a little different for the Delta Recruit character, show you how this all begins, and look over how you earn you know, skill points or whatever in Delta Recruits and how that carries over to other characters. I just want to basically introduce Delta recruits to you guys and I don't know what to expect. I haven't done this yet So this is new for me. This is new for you I just want to run through this and we will both see what happens together So as you will notice when you go up here to create a new character, it does say new Delta recruit So there you go I am going to create for this introduction 
I am going to create, uh, where are you? A female Starfleet human. And this is a character that I will level up later on, but I'm not going to be able to do it immediately. In fact, I am going to also create a KDF and Romulan Delta recruit of different career types. Let's see, this one I'm going to do science. And I'm going to make an, a KDF and a Romulan character as well on a different career type. But I will do that separately. And those characters, again, I will level up later. Right now, let's just go through the beginning process here and see what happens. I have already worked out who my character is going to be for my Federation character of Delta Recruit. And instead of choosing a male doctor, which are my main characters, I am now going to switch over and for my, my Delta Recruits, they are going to be female companions of the doctor. Yes, female companions. So I have, check this out, hopefully this works. <gasps> Crap, that was wrong. Uh, there it is, okay good, it's still there. I am going to do Amy Pond. Now this is not a perfect representation of Amy Pond. I've worked on it a bit. I want to thank Time Lord Victorious for giving me uh, some information on how I can construct an Amy Pond. He worked quite a bit on working out this uh, character and uh, making a good looking Amy Pond. And I tweaked it just a little bit. Uh, and I think this is a pretty good representation of her. Probably not perfect, but it's it's a start. I can always work on it later. So welcome, Amy Pond. Let's enter a name. Amelia Pond. My ship's name shall be... Hmm... I don't know yet, so let's just pick a random name for right now. I will, I will change that in the future, but this is just to get this started. I'll think of a clever name later. I should have thought of that before starting recording, but the one thing I didn't figure out was what my ship would be called. I'll figure that out later. I'll think of something clever, but let's just get this started and see what happens. Delta Recruit. Now for this, you do need to watch the tutorial. I have heard if you skip the tutorial, you do not get the Delta Recruit perks on that character. So you must go through the new tutorial for the Delta Recruits. So it says here, Starfleet records indicate that you have completed this training scenario with another officer. Would you like to proceed immediately to Starfleet Academy? Note this is your only opportunity to skip the tutorial. If you do, you will be transported to Starfleet Academy and given everything you need to begin playing Star Trek Online. So because I've obviously played this game before, I have the option to skip. But it says you will not be a Delta recruit and are giving up all Delta recruit bonuses if you do that. So you are forced to play the tutorial if you want Delta Recruit bonuses. And I do, so let's do this new tutorial. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and wage the campaign of peace. Spark. Live long. And 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. 
The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Love that intro. I think that's a perfect introduction to Star Trek Online and where the state of state of things are in this game. June 2410, one year from now. This is the time we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly right. The time stream will work itself out. Just make sure you give yourself this. It's our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? Whoa. Okay. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. Okay, good. Wow, okay, so let me think for a second here because my mind is whirling in circles. They said that this... To move, use the W, A, S, and D keys. Okay, To thank look you. around, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse. Yep, I got that. Very cool. I'm not going to disable pop-ups because I do want to get the full experience of the tutorial here. Um, okay. So they said that there would be a time traveler in the Delta Recruits storyline who would help you in missions, help you find new content in missions, and uh, unfold a new storyline. So did we just figure out from the start of this that that time travel is actually ourselves one year from now in the future? And that is cool then. I was thinking it was going to be a far, far, far future time traveler. Maybe from the 29th or 31st century, much like, much like um, the time ship is from the 29th century and then Daniel's is from the 31st. I thought it would be a future time traveler from time traveler from maybe one of their time periods, but now it appears it is our self time traveling back to ourself. That's not a good thing. Never is. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key default F to talk Finally, with them. I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I? You reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and complete now the complete tutorial. So if you, um, you know, want to skip through, that's fine. I of course will point out anything that I find along the way that is Delta Recruit related or time travel related because I'm not sure how they've integrated it into the tutorial or if the tutorial has changed but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and complete the whole thing all the way until we're completely done with the tutorial just because I want to see if there's anything thrown in here at the beginning about all this it looks like we have a global recruit thingy here it says complete first run missions as a delta recruit unlock bonus skill point week tier one and i noticed i did look at this on my main character when you click here now for what this says is from april 2nd to may 21st delta recruit event characters created during this time are classified as delta recruits with bonuses and additional tasks available um but there was something else too I guess it was only showing it on... No, here it is, right here. This weekend, okay. Look at this, check this out. This weekend, Delta Recruit Week 1 starts at 12 p.m. on April 2nd, and it ends at 12 p.m. on April 9th. And so that's six days, 12 hours from right now. This says, 
complete story missions for the first time as a Delta recruit to unlock a week of bonus skill points and expertise for all captains next week. Only Delta recruits can contribute, but this bonus applies to everyone. Unlock higher tiers to increase the amount of the bonus. So see, this is something that will affect your other characters that are not Delta recruits. And this is something that people were really concerned about is that our non-Delta recruit characters that we've had for five years in the game would all of a sudden be thrown under the bus and not mean a darn thing after we've spent so much time working on them. That Delta recruit characters would be uh, more powerful, would be better, and overall just, you know, show us that all the five years we spent on our regular characters was wasted. But this is Cryptic right here telling us, no, we're going to help your other characters that you've spent five years on. Even though you are rolling a new Delta Recruit character, we will not ignore the fact that you've spent that time on your regular characters. So completing story missions for the first time in Delta Recruits will affect our other captains by unlocking bonus skill points and expertise for our captains. That's really cool. And this is apparently something that will change every week. There will be new bonuses that apply to our regular captains as long as we work on the Delta recruits. Now again, I don't think that, I, I'm not sure that these, that these recruit weeks will continue past May 21st. They probably won't. But that doesn't mean that all the Delta Recruit stuff that you get on your Delta Recruit character will end after May 21st. It just means that this kind of stuff here, probably, where it affects your other captains, will end after May 21st. So a little thing there to keep in mind. But if you really want to get the most out of the Delta Recruits and also have things applied to your regular captains, all your other characters in the game, then you will want to play the Delta Re play or level up your Delta recruits during this one month period because that will then affect your regular ca uh, characters your other characters as well benefiting them in some way okay let us locate Raz kill which is where here we go there you are I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final and for all the other times you've helped me I've always admired you I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron, get your assignment. You should find Tavral. She wanted... Let's do that. So this part of the tutorial is just showing us how we find people and contact people. Greetings. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Thanks. Got it. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Okay. Good afternoon, cadet. What? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Okay. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press F to interact with a doorbell to notify Come. Captain Taggart of your presence. Hello, do you have an interact button I can use? <laughs> I entered his office and nothing. Is that a bug? There we go. That was weird. 
Cadet. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. Hmm. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her. Good, okay, let's do that. Ah, I'm stuck. Stuck on a chair. Look at your hair. I am here to fire a phaser. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. At least they recognize me as a female now, that's neat. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on. Go ahead. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Wee. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? Yes. I never seem to spot them. Uh, they're, they're in there. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight! Okay. I am shifting to run. Shifting to run, shifting to run. Here I go, hun. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky holodeck. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one. Let's go. Press the V key to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. I do like the new tutorial that they've introduced recently because this is so much more helpful than the last one. They really are telling you everything you need to know, which is a good thing. Pistol has been automatically equipped. Thank you. Wonder where what what, what my where my future self is right now. Go to the center of the room. In combat, right click on a target to fire your weapon. Lovely. That was fun. Wouldn't it be cool if she was like hiding in a corner somewhere? Like maybe a secret Easter egg, like your future self is in a corner or a different room or something, and you find her and like, hey, who are you? And that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I was right. <laughs> and that was what's weird. Okay. So here we go, guys. This is our first communication with our future self, apparently. Uh, part of the Delta Recruit, the first Delta Recruit thing. Oh, this is cool. Okay, do it. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I am you from your future, and I've come back in time to tell you information you're going to need in the future. I don't quite understand everything myself, but I remember talking to me when I was standing in your shoes, so I knew I had to do this. Um, yeah, right, nice try, Flores, or let's assume I believe you, me, you. Let's try that. Just as accepting and easy as I remember being. That's good. Always give people a chance to surprise you. You'll even meet Romulans who want to do the right thing. If you have any nagging doubts, you can always check with Temporal Investigations after you talk to Admiral Quinn when re you receive your first command. Which I should probably stop talking about now before I give too much away. Are you ready to hear what I have to say? Okay, what is it that you want me to know? Let's get down to business. There is a war coming. An ancient race known as the Iconians once ruled huge areas of space, including this one. They had the power of gods, technology far beyond what anyone else had. It took all of the Iconians' enemies rising up against them as one to defeat them. We thought they were extinct. 
Now we know we were wrong, and they've returned to take back everything that was once theirs. That's where you come in. Why me? What makes me special? Most of Starfleet's officers had no opportunity to gather intelligence on this race, their capabilities, and their possible plans, but I did. Throughout your career, you, we, will benefit from the knowledge I'll give you today. When the war with the Iconians comes, the galaxy will have a fighting chance thanks to what you've learned. And that's why I've come back, so I will know what to do. I can't just drop everything on you at once. That could cause a paradox. You'll still need to locate all this information yourself. I'll help guide you. Take this. It's a Tesseract communications device. It allows me one-way communication from the future to you. There will be updates through the device as you progress through your career. Check it often. I think I've taken up as much of your time as I can. Flores, Flores and Captain Taggart are waiting for you. Um, thank you. <laughs> While in combat, you are now certain actions crew. are disabled. You have Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become you and available. Your teammates. Whoa, okay. So, what did that say? I'm a Delta recruit. Very cool. While in combat, certain actions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. You are now a Delta recruit. You have a unique trait that gives you bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammates. As a Delta recruit, you will be able to earn many additional rewards as you complete later missions. I love that. Here I am, Delta recruit. Enhanced rewards enabled. So extra dilithium for me and my teammates. That is really, really cool. And dilithium is definitely needed. So, okay, that's our first thing. Let's click this, show recruit details. Whoa, so here's the new recruit window. Objectives complete, zero of 40, rank. Complete missions to rank up your captain. Reach level 10, and you will receive the following after completion, a Delta Recruitment Equipment Choice Package, which includes a Space Weapon Booster Pack, Space Equipment Booster Pack, Space Console Booster Pack, Ground Equipment Booster Pack, all items from the above packs are purple or very rare quality and are on the highest mark usable at your current level. That is really freaking sweet right there. At level 20, what do we get? We get some more booster packs, also a very rare. At 30. More at very rare. Okay, so this is basically every level we get some a booster pack of that level that we are at and they're purple quality That allows us to, to keep updated with um, new gear. That's cool Ooh, this package will give you a leg up on starting your progression through the reputation system This uh, package rewards you your Delta recruit with all of the following 250 of each reputation mark. Oh my word 250 delta or 250 reputation marks of each reputation guys i mean wow 10,000 reputation only dilithium 500,000 energy credits 500,000 expertise two times delta vanguard tech upgrades whoa so when we hit level 50 or rank 50 on this that is going you're going to see some serious stuff as uh, they say in Back to the Future. That is incredible. I love that pack. I'm, I can't wait for that. Okay, R&D. Perform research and development. Requires level 15. Okay, you're going to get R&D rewards too. This pack will grant you a random selection of five R&D specialist duty officers. Wow, level 5. You get... Activating this item will grant you a choice of setting any single R&D school instantly to level 10. You may not choose a school in which you are already above level 10. If all your R&D levels are currently above 10, you will instead be offered a large crafting XP bonus pool. So there you go. Oh, look at this. Play through the story episodes. Play the Klingon War and you get... Uh, Delta Recruitment Reward. Story arc completed. This reward was given to you. Okay, this special pack is a larger as it is a reward for the Klingon War story arc, which is longer. I don't even know what the reward is, but I want it. And then, of course, all the other ones as well. Wasteland... Romulan Mystery, Cardassian Struggle. Oh, this is so cool. So after you finish the Breen Invasion, this reward was given to you for completion of all the missions associated with this specific... I don't even know what the reward is, 
But I want it. Complete half of the Federation story arcs. And you get... Uh, when uh, This is a starship trait. Oh, wow. They're giving away starship traits as rewards when you complete mis uh, missions here. When activating a whole heal on self, become immune to all damage for two seconds. Wow. And this one is... Um... Starship Trait Improved Temporal Insight. When activating a whole heal on self, you become immune to all damage for four seconds. This reward also includes a unique photonic engineering officer. A requisition pack will appear in your inventory when claiming this reward, which will allow you to add this bridge officer to your crew. Wow! And fleet rewards. Join other captains in a fleet for additional bonuses received at level 30. Whoa, must be level 30 plus to claim reward. Delta Recruitment Reward Fleet Project Jumpstart. This gives you 500 fleet marks, 50,000 fleet only dilithium, and 100 of each holding commodity. Holy moly. Learn and collect. Locate Iconian technology scattered throughout the various missions. And it tells you what that is here. Let's see. Locate technology in Stranded in Space. Recover a vital piece of technology that is lost on the Azura. Uh, you will receive, holy moly, fleet marks, Romulan marks, Omega marks, Nukara, Dyson, Undine, Delta. The reward is the choice of the player that opens it. It may contain any of the following. So any of those could be the reward, but just the fact that it's going to give marks is really cool just for finding a piece of technology on the Azura. The next one is Diplomatic Order, so it looks like one piece of Iconian technology per mission, and it's going to reward that stuff. That is so cool. So what you've really got to do is, before you play the mission, check out what the, what, what the thing is here, and make sure you find that Iconian technology in that mission. And not all missions have Iconian technology either, but these that do... You definitely want to locate that technology and do that. Um, collect Iconian technology. Locate Iconian technology scattered throughout the various missions. Uh, if you collect seven, or wait, collect Iconian technology with other galaxy, you will receive after the following, after completion, seven, you'll receive a temporal negotiator. I don't know what it does, but I want it. Collect Iconian information, so if you collect 15, then you get a Paradox Corrector. <laughs> Unique Max 1 per character. This is so cool. Look at these special items you get. Oh, I cannot wait for this. This is going to be really sweet. Whoa. Wow. You can holster and draw your weapon with the H key. Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the Academy record. But your score was more- Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in st- First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Hmm. You'll do great. The direction of your objective. Now hear this. All cadets report to Shuttle Bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our- I still have my phaser out. <laughs> Hmm. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Let's do that. Are you ready to head to the sh I really like the direction this Delta recruit thing is going, so it appears we're going to get information from our future self as missions progress through that Tesseract device. can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that.
the USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. This little tiny piece of crap. <laughs> Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. I'm going to check in and then... Well, let's go. Name and position? I have your record right here, sir. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. So yeah, I am just kind of hurrying through the tutorial at this point because I do just want to get through it. I want to see where the new Delta Recruit um, stuff is at. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor mo Earth traffic control has- Very good, number one. Shuttle bay door- Very good, number one. Well, let's do it. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Yeah, remain silent. To sit, right click. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Breakeven. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Ah, uh, jittery. You heard the distress call, number one? Absolutely not. Good. What do you advise? Mm. Raising the shields does seem to... I agree. Flores, raise shield. There's a war coming. We need all shields up, <laughs> Captain. I can't explain why, just I'm telling you, shields up. <laughs> I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! Klingons! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chart. Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Up. We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. There's Klingons on the starboard bow. Starboard bow. Starboard bow. There's Klingons on the starboard bow. <laughs> starboard bow, Jim. Go 
to the armory locker in this room. We come in peace, shoot to kill, shoot to kill, shoot to kill. We come in peace, shoot to kill, shoot to kill them. Well, I got the phase or now I got more than the phase or between two equipped weapons. Did I jump the gun? I probably did. Uh, which way? Not through there. I was probably supposed to talk to somebody and didn't. There we go. Of course. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. Ah! Ah! You have recovered a hypo spray. Okay, not through there, not through there. You can do extra damage to enemies by flank. Actually, yes, through there. I didn't even select that trait. I wonder why I have it. Destroyed and create environmental effects. You can destroy the EPS conduit near the Klingons to damage them. And myself. Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. Press C to crouch. Crouching is a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Press X to aim your weapon. Aiming your weapon gives a bonus to damage. Yay. One, we've got injured up here and the Klingons could go see to the bridge. We I did will secure this area. I did sciency things. That heal you. Do that. Incoming transmission for this is Captain Kayak of the IKS chart. 
You may have fought Never. perhaps your captain. Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Hmm. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Pegatosa! Oh, too late. You're dead. Make me proud. Fires everything! We have target lock, Captain. Uh, fire the cannon! We've lost their signal. What now? Hmm, well... We need to speak to you, apparently. We... We survived. But... Okay. I am the captain now. Elisa Flores is now your bridge officer. Thank you. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties. I have been trying to get a distress call out. She's still cloaked. Still running diagnostics, sir. Hailing the break even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello. And, um, increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed by using Q. Use W and S to move up or down. Use A and D to turn left or right. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the Looks speed Looks like of the she ship. just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ship and press F to interact with it. Thanks! We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Well, looks like we're on our own. Almost done, Captain. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made. We're not the first ship to cling on. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Okie dokie. Press the space bar to fire energy weapons. Ah, okay. There we go. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. Taking through scraps we've left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. Right click on so, a power. Of course to set we can. We're fire. the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your plasma beam to weaken shielded targets. Use your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. Gosh, it feels so weird to be so powerless in this ship. Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. Go faster, ship. Go faster. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. I haven't forgotten about you! 
think your ship can take a couple more hits? Yeah, we can try. Long range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking. Understood. I'd ra- I'll send the source of the plasma- It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Yep. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I'm on it. I can make your death swift. It's not going. <laughs> Activate full impulse by clicking- There we go. Your oh. This Federation. Yep, familiar. Ah, my Delta recruit enhanced rewards enabled. Hover your mouse over a weapon, and its firing arc will be shown around your ship in space. Zero dilithium right now. Activate high yield torpedo by clicking on the icon or pressing Alt and 1. High yield torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Yes, it will. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to it. This will divert power from your other shields. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to it. Target shield has failed. Ship explosions cause damage. Put yes, they do. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. A Klingon captain would have to be... And did you... F so. Very well. And if he reveals his position, he will be... T Okay, on our way. So far, the tutorial is exactly the same under Delta Recruits, only that during that holodeck scene, we have met our future self. The Renown will escort you back to Earth Space Dock, but first we must inform the USS Kittimer that... One moment. My communications officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will give you the proper authority over your crew and final decision-making ability for your- I'll take it. Thank you. It's okay, you're already equipped. Emergency power to shields, that's fine. Exit. Click to order your crew to plot a course to your next mission. <laughs> Look at all the starter ships. 
So use M to open up the map for sector space. You can click on a system to plot a course and set your ship to automatically fly to it. Okay, so nothing nothing new yet here. Let's continue. We are, we are going to continue with the tutorial. Don't know how long this will take. I'll try to get through it as quickly as I can. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15... Ah, Captain Volon. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? Always good to follow... These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon... I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so... Um, scan, okay. You can set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, speed, or balance. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Kinnemer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I'm my chief science officer, Commander Davis, had suggested the same. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board! Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. All life forms will be assimilated. Target's shield has failed. is under attack. Use full impulse to reach her quickly. Activate full impulse by... Will do. Go, 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 go. Go, go, Power Rangers. You mighty morphin power full impulse. Hail the Kitamore. This is the emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kitamer. I am requesting assistance. The Kitamer is being overwhelmed by... I am an emergency medical... The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kitamer. I will send teams to aid the Kitamer. You will have to... I have linked the iota point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kitamer. Go for it. Scanny thing Please activates. Transmit the data so we may begin our analysis. We have your data, and our science team is at our tactical team. There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer. Continue recovery. Borg transwarp signatures detected. Prepare your ship for combat. They're firing. I need help. I'm here. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. These are wimpy probes. More 
we're bored. I don't know if we're ready for this. Well, doesn't matter. We're doing it anyway. Janeway's tactics. Who needs Janeway? You are Starfleet officers. You are prepared for this. Multiple Borg Warp signatures detected. It's an invasion force. Oh no! We're outnumbered. There's no way we can. The Borg are departing, most likely for a more strategic target. Direct your fire at the remaining sphere. Focus your fire, and we shall prevail. Indeed we shall, because it's almost dead. Direct hit. Here is the situation as we see it. The Borg, you must go to the vac- The Renown is better equipped. Most missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next to the mission to report to the contact and turn in the mission. Hmm, nice. Okay, hail Starfleet. It turn is imperative that you warn the colony at Vega of the impending attack. We will do what we can to hold off the Borg here in Vega and repair the Kittimer. I like how they show the Live new cap- and prosper. I like how they show the captain powers now as actually part of the reward because people were confused. Oh, is that my Delta thing? Oh no, that's telling me I have- things to do. I guess. Maybe? Is that like a separate button? I didn't even know that was there. Skill button. Hmm. I didn't know that existed. Um, yeah, anyway. Take we have everything. to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Shields up, red alert. Warning, ship is under attack. Hull integrity below hmm. 75%. They're having a hard time. Assimilation of the in, uh, Innocent, which is really still part of the tutorial, and we haven't earned any Delta Recruit stuff yet, so I won't keep going on this. Who knows how long this video is going to be. If I, if I need to, I'll break it up, but yeah, I'm going to keep going here. But before I do, uh, let's make our ship a little bit better, shall we? Skills, let's do weapon. Ah. Is this ground? I think this is. Weapon proficiency then. There we go. Yay. Okay. Oh, actually. Uh, do I have better things here? Yes, I have better that. Have better that. Have better that. Got me one of them. Hey, why not put that there? Ooh, what is this? Ah, my Tesseract communications receiver. Activate to open the Delta Recruitment User Interface. This will be used to track your progress. Info. Okay, so that's that window. Easy enough. Ooh, I have under a little bit of points. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. A little bit of points. In my room. That's cool. Okay, let's put this down here. We'll read a little bit more about that later on. Let's complete this next tutorial part. And uh, then we'll go over and see what else there is to know about Delta Recruit stuff. Uh, we need to go to... Where do we go to? Vega? Where you are. Here you are. 
Okay, uh, everything good there? Yes. Let's see. Everything good here? No. We can do better. And I have no ground equipment. Okay. Yay, here we go. This is so cool. I love. I, th I think I'm really gonna like this Delta Recruit stuff, but uh, it is gonna take time to get it all. Again, I'll try to get through this as quickly as I can here. We arrived before the board. Tavrel managed to establish. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I can do for you today? Repeat, please. I have lost contact. Our hails are still blocked, sir. Borg are jamming up any re transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them. Target shields have failed. There, I helped him. Captain, I have short range communications. Long range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. I believe I can send a message to those ships. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Target shields have failed. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Target's shields have failed. There we go. Captain, the Borg have Choose your away team for your next mission. Your choices for who will be on your away team. Captain, will grow according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by No sir. I'll follow your I guess there's nothing here we need to really worry about. First mission that re that has an Iconian object is not until the Azura, stranded in space. So we don't have to worry about an Iconian object in the tutorial, that's important to note. That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Uh, 
Um, hello. Knock, knock. Thank you. Press the U key. This is your character. You can. What did you give me? You gave me, um. Give me that. Okay. Wait, did you give me a kit? You didn't give me a kit. Oh no, we're too late. Ah, the days when the Borg were easy to take out. We have the civilians. There is still no sign of the Renown or the Kittimer, sir. Well, we still need to defeat more Borg first. There we go. I apologize for Cole's putting a rifle in your face. You know, I see. I know. Cole, no. There are dozens more hiding out in the big. Oh, her <laughs> dialogue disappeared. I apologize. I. I know. No. Retrieve kit. You have received a kit appropriate to your profession. Open your inventory, default key I, and double click it to equip it. With double a kit click equipped, it, equip abilities it. are added to your action bar you that you can perform in ground, in ground combat. What do I have? Medical tricorder? Is that what I have, really? Okay. We have lowered shields for the transporter, sir. I will need to raise them at the first sign of Borg ships. The pattern enhancers are working. I'll do that. Oh, hold off, Borg. <laughs> Remember when we thought fighting a crazed Klingon was the worst thing that could happen today? Concentrate fire on the Borg. We need to keep them away from the civilians. Um, that's what I'm doing, Holmes. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. All done. Shields are back up, sir, but more... Thank you for everything you've done. 
Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did- Glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. All right, Coles, you're gonna see friends who've been assimilated. I know Don't the drill. Don't hesitate. Just never expected any Borg here, you know. Okay. I knew that one. We played poker last night. We are the board. Resistance is futile. Or is it? Or activating the transport inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. You got it. The Borg are so... what's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. I'm gonna go with evil. They're not really evil, they're just kinda doing what they're programmed to do, sorta kinda in a collective way. We are the war. Resistance is futile. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we... Good. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul, possibly, but what we need to do... Reconfigure satellites. Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the Borg like us hanging around. Ta-da! Man, it feels weird being so slow. Never thought I'd wish I was back at the Academy studying for the Astrometrics final. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. Target shields have failed. Sir, there are several fast-moving ships on sensors. No way to contact them, and I can't tell if they're friend or foe. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. All life forms will be assimilated. A cube? <laughs> Guess it's our time to go out in a blaze of glory. Not necessarily.
Exceptional effort. Now, let us finish this. Okay, that's a lot of cubes. We held off what we could in Pollux, and Sep you have handled things well thus far. I will be discussing that option with the other captains here, but your priority... You okay. and your crew have done well. Coles would make a fine addition to... Congratulations. Captain Mola told us to get to Earth's space dock, and... I think... Let's go do that then. And maybe we'll get some more Delta Recruit info, I wonder here. Let's see. Cutscene just showing us the new ESD. Uh, possibly showing us where Quinn is because a lot of people do ask that question. But uh, it seems that it might be showing us where he is, so that should not be too much of an issue. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. It shows him, although it doesn't show his name, so we don't exactly know that's the guy we're supposed to go to. But, anyway. Okay, we got Colaz. I'm just looking here. We have a little bit of points into that so far. Ah, uh, yes. The good old follow the yellow, I mean the blue lines. Thing that's here. Okay, all the way around. Oh, Temporal Agent! Okay, yeah, so... There will also be Temporal Agents in the game. Who we need to talk to as part of our Delta recruits. Let's go ahead and talk to him because it's flashing, it's here. And it's telling me to go here right now because of the bouncy, bouncy arrows. Let's do it. Greetings, how can I assist you today? Uh -huh. Or in the future? Hmm. Who are you? <laughs> well, where do I start? I'm 157 years old, but that's only because I spent 90 years caught in a temporal distortion in the Typhon Expanse, serving as an ensign under Captain Morgan Bateson on the USS Bozeman. Much of the crew of the Bozeman found it difficult to integrate back into Starfleet. So much had changed. The Temporal Intelligence Agency took in many of my shipmates, due to our first-hand knowledge of events that occurred in the past. So. That's where I ended up. I remember the Bozeman in a uh, Star Trek The Next Generation episode. I'm I'm really glad they brought that back up in here. And now we know with the fate of at least one of its crew, they have rejoined Starfleet in the 24th, 20 slash 25th century. An encounter, you say? Something temporal in nature, I assume. I met someone who claimed to be me from the future. Dressed as an admiral. They said to see you if I had any doubts to the to the veracity of their claims. That's protocol in these sorts of cases, but rarely do Starfleet officers actually follow through. I can do a quick scan for chroniton radiation. That will tell me what I need to know. Do it. Hmm. I am getting some light chroniton radiation from you. You were exposed to someone from the... the future, it seems. But not too far. By these readings, I'd say a maximum of 18 months from the day you encountered them. That's not entirely out of the question. There's been a steady flow of new starship captains and field promotions in the wake of all the crises going on in the galaxy. Someone like yourself could definitely be an admiral in a relatively short amount of time. I like the fact that they address that because that's always, of course, been a contention with some players, is the fact that you are leveling up to such a powerful career type very quickly, you know, as far as in-game time goes. Uh, it's kind of cool that they acknowledge that. Hmm. This looks to be a Tesseract-based receiver. Where did you get it? 
I see. You're not the first to receive one of these from the future. Admiral Archer had a similar device when he was captain of the first Enterprise. These are used to send back information, and in some cases, physical objects from the future. I believe that if you were to do specific tasks that benefit the future, items useful to you could be sent back in time for you to use. Ooh, I like that. Completing Delta Recruit tasks will earn you rewards. These vary from items to marks, as well as character traits and other special items you can earn for fully exploring the Delta Recruit system. <laughs> well, where do I start? Hmm, I already heard that. I'm 157. An encounter. That's proto- Hmm. That's not entirely out of the question. Your future self has a Tesseract communication receiver. Using this device will open the Delta Recruit UI. You can also open the UI by clicking on this window. The Delta Recruit interface shows you what tasks are available. Once you complete the requirements of a task, you can claim the reward for yourself and other characters on your account. Only Delta Recruit characters can contribute to the weekly goal. Each goal has three tiers to accomplish. Make sure you check your Delta Recruit progress often as you play. So Sweet! So there we go, a lot of information there. Awesome, let's go ahead and turn this in for Admiral Quinn and we'll come back real quick to that. Yes, yes, yes. So he really has no info as far as Delta recruits go. Free starship modification, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. And Battlefield Commission off, off, off. Can't even speak. Awesome. Stranded in Space is the first mission, and that's where we actually will find an Iconian artifact, it says. And that's it. Now we are left to our own devices. Okay, let's go back to this temporal guy. Philip Cray. So he's from the Bozeman, of course. That is the one where Kelsey Grammer appeared. The ship from the past wasn't too far in the past, but it was, I guess, the 23rd century or something, or maybe the late 23rd century, maybe early 24th. Uh, anyway, he was he. They got stuck in some kind of, or no, he came through a rift, and it, the, he hit the Enterprise, and the Enterprise blew up, and it looped over and over and over and over again with constant Enterprise blowings up. Um, they figured out eventually that what was going on because they remembered each time that happened finally at the end they went with um, Riker's Riker's suggestion which was to depressurize the shuttle bay ship got out of the way timeline reset they were they had been stuck in that loop for weeks and uh, the Bozeman came through from the past and that was Kelsey Grammer's ship <laughs> and he is apparently a this person here Philip Cray is apparently a was a uh, one of the people on that ship. So that is really cool. We got to hear all about that again. Greetings. How can I assist Who are you? you? Today? I had an encounter, oh, or in the future? Can you look at this device I acquired? See, I'd like to see what kinds of rewards are available to me. Requires level ten plus. So obviously, I'm level three, so I can't do that option yet. So this is the guy to come to. So basically, what you're going to have to do is just constantly come back to this Philip Cray guy. I guess maybe after each mission is what I would do. Like if I finish Stranded in Space, then I'd come back to Philip Cray and see if there's any new interact objects or items for him. I would probably do that after each mission and especially after hitting each each rank here. You know, rank 10, rank 20, 30, 40, 50. After each rank for sure, I would come back to this guy and see if there are any new things that he has to display for you. So he's going to be your important contact for Delta Recruits. Temporal Agent Philip Cray. He's not that much higher than me. He's only, he's only 15 higher than me. No information on him at all. Um, so there you go. And when we bring this up now, it's not going to show me much right now, but... I got a little bit of skill going toward 10 here, but that's because I'm level 3. I guess this increases as your rank increases. That's what that's what that must be. Otherwise, the whole thing is pretty much exactly the same. You know, right now, the tutorial was exactly the same, except for that holodeck part. Uh, ESD is the same. Everything's the same. Let's see if there's any changes here. 
Uh, reputation's not going to show up till we hit, you know, max level yet, or level, whatever level that opens up at, so nothing's going to show up here. Stations, I mean, that's all the same. Traits, it's going to be the same. Other traits, though, is where you, we have the Delta Recruit 1. One dilithium ore per ensign, lieutenant, frigate, or cruiser. Two dilithium ore per commander, captain, battleship, or dreadnought. Space and ground trait. Your future self is doing everything in their power to ensure that you are able to attend your date with destiny, including sending small rewards back in time. By looking onto your distinct weapon signature, by locking on, you and your entire team receive a small reward of dilithium ore every time you defeat a nearby foe. Oh, every time you defeat a nearby foe, you gain a little bit of ore. Ooh, that is really cool. Only activate while Delta Recruit event is running. Automatically removed when event ends. Okay, so this is going to end after May 31st, or May 21st, it sounds like. Ooh, there you go, guys. Only a month to benefit from the extra dilithium there. That's something to keep in mind. Ooh, space, ground, okay, all that's the same. Skills will probably be the same. I don't think that'll be any different. Everything else is, like, pretty much the same here. Starfleet Science Officer. It doesn't even say you're a Delta Recruit in the description up here. Maybe they should add that just so you know which one is a Delta Recruit and which one is not. Mm. When it comes here, let's see, uh, it does species career gender diplomatic rank accolade points it also doesn't tell you here that she is a delta recruit uh, this is flashing what is this here we got information what's new in delta rising okay well it's delta rising um, what do, else do we have of course we can't open the DOF menu yet that hasn't unlocked at my current level we got the missioning going on right now. The Delta Recruit Week 1, which we already talked about. I guess there's really nothing else to show. This is, um, this is pretty much it, you know. I guess the things you'll want to do is constantly check your recruit details and see where you are. And I would come here and go to the, these Iconian bits where you learn, where you collect Iconian technology. Just make sure you look to see which mission next mission contains an an object and make sure you look for that object in that mission so that you collect them all uh, so check this and then check the cray guy in the back here the uh, temporal agent close to Quinn that I would probably check frequently as well for new information that's about all I got for this right now um, I am going to create a couple more characters. Again, like I said, I'm not going to finish them by May 21st. But I will create them so that I can get through the the actual storyline of the Delta Recruits. And eventually, uh, I will have them finished. But probably not in the short term. That is going to be more long term. But anyway, now I think you guys at least got a little overview there of what you can expect coming in the Delta... Uh, recruits, how to check it, where to go, what to do, what to look for, and the kinds of rewards and stuff that you're going to get as you are leveling your new Delta Recruit character. Oh, I see he does have a little diamond. Look, this guy here has a little um, triangle by his head. So I guess that does show, it does show if you're a Delta Recruit by that triangle. Okay, that's cool then. See, it doesn't show it on this window, but it shows it by his head, so that means I probably have one by my, my head, too, if I had the visuals on there. But it doesn't show it anywhere else, which is weird. Anyway, that's kind of cool, anyway, so other players can see if you're a Delta Elite, I mean, a, a Delta Recruit character or not. So that's cool. Okay. Well, that's where I'm going to leave this. This is just an intro. I'm probably not, I'm not going to continue, uh, you know, showing any more right now. Uh, but if I find anything else as I continue leveling up a character, I'll definitely record anything if there's something interesting to show. Otherwise, this has pretty much been my introduction to Delta Recruit leveling here of a new character. So, hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.